you don't believe in yourself. Simple. You've, you've been told or you've been fed a whole bunch of bullshit from somebody or some people in your life, whether it's culture, school, parenting, family, whatever it happens to be, that you can't do something. <clears throat> There's at least one pod, podcast interview on my channel with Sean Stevenson. He died a few years ago. I caught him on a podcast a few months before. Uh, he had a tragic accident, passed away. But a little dude was in a wheelchair, broken all the bones of his body several times, uh, was disabled, made millions of dollars, married a pretty girl, was influential. People looked up to him. The point that I'm making here is when you believe in yourself, when your mind's eye, and Psycho-Cybernetics is a great book, by the way, by Maxwell Maltz. You should check it out. It's on my recommended leaving list. But when you believe in yourself and you understand that your mind's eye, like, like the vision for yourself, now becomes the blueprint for your new life, you become that new life. You know, you become that new guy. Um, Boiler Room, great movie. It's probably one of my favorites. There's a big scene in that where Ben Affleck walks into the um, uh, meeting room. You can go look it up. It's probably on YouTube somewhere. You don't have to watch the movie. Um, throws down the keys to his Ferrari, throws them on a the table and just goes, fucking Ferrari, 355 Spider. Yeah, bitch, sort of thing. And then, you know, towards the end, you know, once he's got everybody's attention, he's basically telling all these sales reps to act as if. And, you know, there's times in life, guys, where you have to act as if you're more than what you are. I'm not saying be deceptive on a long-term basis and do things that are harmful to people, but at least wake up in the morning, do the work, start taking action, and start acting as if you're better than what you were yesterday. Do an extra push-up. If you do 10 push-ups, do 11. If you're at the gym and you're there for 30 minutes, spend 45 minutes there. Uh, if you do 10 minutes on the treadmill, throw an extra minute or two on, right? you know, like the taking action part's part of it, but start acting as if you're better than what you actually are, right? I know some of this stuff might see com seem complex, but it should be clear. Um, we talked about glass ceilings. You can, okay, you know, here's another good reason why a lot of people are fucking poor. Um, I've been in the debt business for a long time, since 1992 two or three. Some of you guys weren't even born then. <clears throat> Started up my own business in 2003. And I came to realize, um, you know, after spending a good, a good 10,000 hours in the industry, that the reason why most people have debt and the reason why they're poor because of the debt is because they can't do basic math. And I'm not saying that to disparage anybody. It's a fact of life. If you spend more than you make, you can't do basic math. If you make $3,000, $4,000 a month, but you spend $3,500, $4,500 a month, you're spending more than you make. You're not able to even do basic math. And income minus expenses is a very, very simple equation to figure out. I don't know why they don't teach it in school. They teach you all this fu other fucking bullshit uh, that you never apply to real life. But so many people out there today are carrying unsecured debt, credit card debt, lines of credits, overdrafts, sundries, um, very, very high interest rates on high risk loans, car loans, leases, and stuff like that, because they're not doing basic math in their head. And it's a fundamental concept of wealth creation, spend away less than what you make, right? Um, let's cross that off. Here's another one. So when my, my dad's generation, you know, I would say, so th there's, um, I don't know if it's in Canada anymore. I think they closed down most of the operations. There was a outfit called um, Marks and Spencer, very popular in the UK. And I remember this story. Um, like today, you'll go to a store if you want to buy a sweater and you put your credit card down, you buy it, and then they send you the bill and you're supposed to pay it off in full when you get the bill. Um, a lot of people don't do that though. They'll just make the minimum monthly payment sort of thing, but they've got the sweater. So the concept of delayed gratification is foreign to a lot of people today because we live in a society where it's pop this pill, lose 25 pounds in three days, rub this cream under your eye, wipe away 15 years of wrinkles sort of thing. Like this is what people want. They want instant gratification. You know, that instant dopamine hit. That, that's why porn does so well for a lot of guys. It's instant dopamine hit. They turn it on, they play, 
they do their thing, they're done, right? And that instant do dopamine hit, it's dangerous. Back to the story, you know, of the old man with the Marks and Spencer in the sweater. Back in those days, if you wanted that sweater, you'd go work, you'd go to the store, you'd put down your couple of pence or, you know, if you're in Canada or whatever, you know, whatever buck or two sort of thing. And then, you know, you go back in your next paycheck and you pay, you know, make another installment until you were paid in full and then you take the sweater home sort of thing. They don't do that anymore. And marketers figured out a way to, you know, to basically manufacture money out of thin air and give people stuff immediately to sort of like cater to that instant gratification. Um, there's a very interesting book. The author's name is Near Al, and the title of the book is called Hooked. The subtitle is something along the lines of how habit forming products are created. Um, the book mostly focuses on digital stuff like um, social media, uh, notifications off Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, stuff like that. Um, there's case studies in it about World of Warcraft and, you know, things along those lines. And every piece of technology today, including financial instruments, is engineered to make sure that you feel a positive rush, a dopamine rush, a hit, right? That, uh, you know, that neurotransmitter hit that makes you feel good, right? I remember a buddy of mine, you know, he would, you know, he would tell me that whenever he felt down, he would go shopping and he would buy new, new clothes to feel good. And that didn't change that he had shitty game with women and women didn't want to be with him on a long-term basis. That didn't change the fact that he was fat in the clothes. And even though they were nice clothes and they look like nice clothes, he didn't look good in them. It didn't change any of those facts. But the dopamine hit when he went to the store and he walked out, you know, from the uh, the store with a new bag in his hand, wearing it, you know, to the office, to whatever event, you know, we happen to go to. And he, and he thought that he looked better than he did before, right? Delayed gratification is an important thing. And it's a lost art. Um, I've been training since I was, I don't know, 13 or 14 years old. My dad gave me... Um, a, a direct response mailer, which I think was Charles Atlas's uh, program called Dynamic Tensions. You can go Google it, you know, Dynamic Tensions, Google, uh, Char Charles Atlas. Um, and it was a black and white s sequence of like workouts that you do, push-ups, things like, you know, this, if you wanted to do uh, like a chest workout, you push your hands together. If you want to do your biceps, you would create resistance this way sort of thing. And I would do these exercises even at 13 years old. I'm close to 50 now. I've been working out for that period of time. And, you know, people, you know, I see it sometimes in the comments of the videos, Rich, you look good. You know, you're putting off aging sort of stuff. Like you look better than most 20 year old sort of stuff. Yeah, because I've put in the time, I've put in the reps, delayed gratification, right? And I'm, I'm doing the best that I can for myself so I can live in a happy, healthy body and live a great life. But that's, that's ingrained in my DNA. And most people don't have that. They don't understand you have to put in the time. Um, they're either lazy, stupid, or maybe even arrogant, you know, to be honest with you. And that's why, you know, they're generally poor is because they don't want to do the work. They don't know how to do the work, which doesn't make any sense to me because the resources are there. You know, you can get the information, you can go find it, or they just don't feel like they don't need to because they're arrogant. Hey guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that short clip. If you did, consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line. Pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments, there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code ALPHA10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis, and that gives you a little bit of a discount, and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.